you are watching a 123sonography.com video. We provide innovative teaching materials on echocardiography. Please visit us at www.123sonography.com to see more. Here we have a 62-year-old patient. I won't tell you much more. I want you to take a look at the echo first. So we'll start with the parasternal long axis view. And I'm sure you will immediately recognize where the problem is. We have a structure here in the region of the posterior leaflet, which is abnormal, some kind of a mass. And I want to now show you how I would evaluate the mass. The first thing we need to know is where is the mass? Well, in this case, it's clearly located in the region of the posterior mitral valve leaflet. But to get a better appreciation, I would now tilt the transducer into a short axis view, and then we can see that it is in the posterior region, but also in the region of the posterior medial com commissure. So it's uh, P3, actually. So in the region of P3. To get a better appreciation, we have to use the apical views as well. And so first here is the four-chamber view. Again, we see the structure in the region of the posterior leaflet right here. And in the two-chamber view, that fits very well with what we saw from the parasternal approach here in the inferior region of the, of the ring. OK, so the next question is, is it mobile or not? Well, yes, in a way, it is mobile. But it is, does not have a motion of its own, but it moves more with the posterior leaflet. So it's stuck on the ring, but seems to also extend into the posterior leaflet and has just a, I would say, moderate mobility. The next thing you have to take a look at is what is the structure of the, valve, of the, the, the mass. So it's fairly echogenic, but it does not seem to be as echogenic as, for example, calcium. So it's fibrotic, maybe, or also lipomatous, because lipomatous tissue can also be very echogenic, so that would fit as well. Then also take a look at if this, this mass extends into the myocardium, if it, is, if it shows some form of infiltrative growth. And that is not the case. We see that the myocardium itself is completely normal in the surrounding of this mass. So it does not be, uh, seem to be uh, does not seem to show any invasive growth. And then finally, we have to also take a look at uh, the other things surrounding the structure to find out if there's any hemodynamic significance or any obstruction to inflow, uh, so forth and so on. And to do that, you need the color Doppler. And here you will immediately see that we have mitral regurgitation, which is probably caused by this mass. In some way, the mitral valve is leaking simply because we have this mass there which seems to um, somehow hinder the closing movement of the posterior leaflet. And we see that there is regurgitant jet which is directed towards the interatrial septum. Regurgitation is not insignificant, it's probably moderate, maybe even more. So in summary, we have a structure in the region of the posterior leaflet which is fairly large and which also shows some um, hemodynamic sequels, namely that we have regurgitation.